What's up, YouTube? It's J-Man and me, the Jokester, back again with another episode of J-Man Mysteries, where we explore the unexplained, the inexplicable, what science cannot define, cryptids, ghosts, weird nature, strange phenomena, and uh, we're doing a viewer request today, actually. Uh, Jason's dad asked us to cover what, Jay? Which cryptid? Fuss. That's right, the Skunk Ape, which is a Bigfoot, Sasquatch uh, type of cryptid, uh, primarily sighted, allegedly, in, in the southeastern United States, called the Skunk Ape because it smells terrible, like a skunk. Uh, sometimes it's known as the Stink Ape, the Cabbage Ape, the Cabbage Swamp Ape. Three hours later. Swamp, Swamp Ape. Uh, there are many different versions of its name whatever you want to call it, has been seen in states like Florida and Louisiana, but we're going to focus, we're focusing on the skunk ape known as the Boggy Creek Monster, which is specific to the Arkansas area, I believe a, a part of Arkansas called Folk, F-O-U-K-E, um, and that's the Boggy Creek Monster, if I'm looking at my notes here correctly, or the, the Folk Monster, the the monster Bach the Bach monster was spotted mainly during the 1970s although like the Loveland frog there are some reports that it was cited uh, as early as the 1950s now Jason um, I, I understand that you used to live pretty close to Boggy Creek uh, the, the Falk area and, and did you ever see the monster when you lived there did you ever see the Falk monster You don't know. You aren't sure. So you may have seen it. If, if you did see it and it's too frightening to talk about, I understand. And there was an, an alleged attack that this monster made on, a, on someone's homestead. And... And I believe that was incorporated into the, 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 one of the Boggy Creek movies, if not. Snap into a Slim Jim. <laughs> they really went went at it with this creature. But uh, there are, you know, this is another cryptid where there's no, there isn't like a famous uh, photograph or really uh, like concrete piece of evidence that, that people turn to. It's uh, the, um, it's all like you know secondhand stories or hearsay. Uh, so it's. It's not a situation like the Loch Ness monster photo or the, 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 the famous Bigfoot movie where he's walking through the woods and he turns around. Um, but uh, there was enough uh, hullabaloo <laughs> over this over these 1970s incidents that in uh, 1972 a film that was a quasi documentary quasi uh, dramatization came out called The Legend of Boggy Creek. And I, it was my understanding that there was only one or two of these movies, but they, it looks like they did five of them. And uh, did you ever see any of these movies, Jay? <laughs> well, <clears throat> I think they're pretty revered by the cryptid, the, the cryptid, uh, what do you want to call them, the fan, the, the people who are super into cryptids, the cryptid heads, the true heads. Um... Uh, you, it, it seems like this, uh, you know, my guess is uh, like a bear or, or maybe like a, a gorilla, maybe this, I feel like, I just feel like humans provoked the Boggy Creek Monster. I, you know, I'm not, again, I'm not well versed in the stories, but I, I just, I can't help but feel like maybe this is a peaceful creature that was provoked by humans and if it did attack people. <laughs> Suddenly I was attacked by a muppet. Where's the money, you son of a bitch? That's what happened. I mean, that's normally the case, right, Jay? It's, it's very rare that an animal will just decide to attack a human, right? So, you know, I don't know, but it's really, a, you know, it's fascinating. It's fascinating, and it's fascinating that there can be, you know, I think people in general just think like, oh, there's Bigfoot, and he's the North America guy, and then there's the Yeti, and he's the, he's the, the Himalayan uh, guy, and it's, it's very interesting to learn that there are 
or different kinds of Bigfoots, even within the United States. Like, uh, there's a big, this, we're looking at a Bigfoot who's known for smelling bad, and, and really nothing else, and that's, I mean, what's more American? <laughs> now, in the previous, in our previous video, you were asking if, if, if ghosts exist in space, and the camera shut off mysteriously, uh, and I don't think I got to address this, but I, I think, I think, if you, do you believe in ghosts on Earth? hours later maybe well I think that if you maybe believe in ghosts on earth you, you have to think that maybe there are ghosts in space I think it's plausible <laughs> I know that's maybe that's ludicrous to you but I think it's it's plausible I need to know do you love the Boggy Creek monster do you care deeply for the Boggy Creek monster <laughs> well that's beautiful well Thanks for having me on again, Jay. Thanks, thanks for being my best bud. And I can't wait to explore more mysteries with you, my friend. So let's <laughs> and thank you, everyone, for tuning in. You want to say goodbye to the people, Jay? Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching.